Hey, my wonderful, wonderful people, a pleasant morning to you. You know, beautiful people, I'm not sure about you as Jamaicans, but I am because I want to see my country do well. And I'm very, very, very concerned about who will be taking up the post of Minister of Finance. Because, you know, our Minister of Finance, Dr. Nigel Clark, would leave us at least by the 31st of this month. So he will leave of, of October, the 31st of October, 2024. So Dr. Nigel Clark will leave us on our, on our before October 31, 2024, you know, to take up his post as, um, I don't remember the name of it, um, like some managing director or deputy managing director, something of the sort with the IMF, but you know what I'm talking about. So he will, he just has a few days you know and the reality is this has nothing to do with um liking an individual i believe in just putting facts on the table the reality is um and you don't bring an unknown person so if you have an uh, an, an auntie and uncle who, who is brilliant in economy you can't bring them because we don't know the person so we're speaking about somebody who is known right now whether you look across spectrum look across both parties he's the best best person you know as it relates to finance this is his area of study of speciality we're not talking about him doing a good job or a bad job. We're talking about his knowledge, his expertise, and skill. And he wasn't all bad. Even if he has done some things that he should not have, he was not all bad. So we have to balance truth with reality, not feelings. Not because I don't like him. So like, it's all bad he did for ru rubbish. That's nonsense. If you're going to have that mindset, have that about yourself. So a man think that's who he is the bible says out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks so if your heart is negative you are like that so forget whether you're glp pmp opp or upp or ddp that's a political party that will come on the force soon stay tuned the reality is that there is nobody right now that we know of not your auntie or uncle please or your friend we don't know them so we can only speak to who we know that um, is a good finance minister as Dr. Nigel Clark. I'm not saying this is what he said because there are things that I've seen happened as it relates to the public sector that I didn't think he handled well. He didn't handle well for me, for a man of such stature, such uh, knowledge, you know, and exposure. This is a trained man, an expert in his area. So we're not talking about a fluke and even the PNP when you hear them they were when you heard them speaking I was listening to data on Campbell and some of the others you realize that basically technically that's what they're saying that he's leaving <laughs> I mean it's gonna be crazy on the economy oddly sure is, a, is, is an elderly man now not so well and all of that so people you know speculating for him to come and you could do that oddly I respect the man so much Oddly used to make me laugh a lot I mean it was so feisty but it wasn't obnoxious for me for those, I, I used to love Audley. Boy, that was a politician of politicians for me. Anytime Audley was on, boy, I saw him voice on like Michael Jackson now. You know, I don't have a problem with Michael Jackson. Meaning, you know, that political, that politician's voice. I'm talking because Michael had a more laid back, sedentary sort of, you know, tone. Very easy. And it's a family, by the way, people. People may use it and think it has to do with sexual. Not at all. That's how the sisters speak. Maybe they were trained that way to speak soft like that and it's in their genes. They all have a similar sound. Listen to all of them. They, you've never heard a loud, raucous one. All of them spoke soft like that. Men, women. <laughs> you know. So it has nothing to do with it because he's... No, no, no. Rubbish. And all of those were allegations. But the point that I'm making is that we need somebody who can effect change. The economy has to run until, you know, uh, the, when the next general election is called... And whichever party goes back in because the reality is they can go back in too the jamaica labor party can go back in they can it's not impossible you know and if they do who, who are we going to use we cannot have any more misfits we can't have any more individual who is not doing a good job we can't just continue on this path my jamaican people so we need to put to take off our political hats and look in terms of the country growing in terms of the country doing well please at least have our heart towards the country doing well so the question is asked who will be taking over the um, um dr nigel clark's dr nigel clark's post and it has to be somebody equally good or better if they're not 
they have to have a heart for the economy to grow and have sol solid people around them guiding them because it could be like a Henry Ford situation Henry Ford wasn't an academia or academic kind of person academically inclined but he had a brain that was very smart he was emotionally intelligent and he says all right I don't have the intelligence quotients and knowledge like these people but what I'm going to do I'm going to use my emotional intelligence and hire the right people that is why today you see his company doing well even after his um, he, him not being around that that proper succession planning was planned properly you know that proper delegation of staff you need to read the book think and grow is not think and grow rich it's a big book you know very big it's like a textbook <laughs> but it's a let me tell you it's a very comprehensive book that i would I, i'm going to get the name of the book and 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 from i'm going to promulgate some books one day on a post that i will tell people to read very very good book it opens your eyes to a lot of things it teaches you some things you wish you had known even 10 years prior so even if you're like a henry ford as i said you be but you know and there's another book by um, Daniel Goldman that's called Emotional Intelligence, how it can even be better than IQ or more effective than IQ, which is true. You have to have some knowledge, do you know? Because if, if, what would you be emotionally intelligent on if you have no knowledge, you know? So obviously we know that you have to have some basic foundation, which he, Henry Ford did, but he delegated the right people. Not about, I don't like him, my spirit, what kind of nonsense is that? And usually when you find people generally speak that way, my spirit can't take is your, your demons can't handle their angels. Your demons cannot handle their angels, so your bad can't manage their good. And notwithstanding, there are people who God will show me, be careful of that individual. You know, what? I, mean, I, got, I don't really like to use the spirit can't take. There, is not, there, is, there isn't that symbiotic connection. God is not making our spirit be just like with Jesus. With the Pharisees, Sadd Sadducees, scribes, and zealots, the, the spirit of God did not connect with theirs. So he would not have befriended them. He didn't hate them. He didn't treat them with disrespect. You know, they were looking to try and sink and kill Jesus. And he had to, you know, really man show us how to maneuver them. There were times he hid from the zealots because they were out to kill him. And it's not that Jesus didn't have power to get rid of all of them. But he's teaching you a principle, know when to hold, know when to fall, know when to walk, know when to run. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. That it was just a principle he was teaching his uh, mankind because he knew that decades later, centuries later, we would read about it. No one to pull back is not fearful. Sometimes people feel it's fearful. People fearful to not speak on some things, to not do. No, it's not fair. Sometimes you have to know when to shut it and open it. You have to know when allow God to guide you. But outside of that, let's get back to the matter at hand. We need to know as a people who will be replacing Dr. Nigel Clark. Because our economy depends on it. Our economy depends on it. It's like leaving my, my house open wide, day in, day out, not expecting moth and all kinds of, you know, wrongdoers to come in. And elements that I don't want to come in the home. Like I'm expecting it to just be safeguarded and protected. God gave us a brain. To take dominion over the earth. So couldn't expect it. I said, Lord, stay up in heaven there and just no no no, I'm not going to do that. He said, You know what to do. You're made in my image and likeness. You have a little of me in you. Use a wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and know what to do to protect your home. Similarly, we extend that here. Our economy needs because without money, we have <laughs> we in trouble. Money's right up there with oxygen, right up there. So So we need to know who will be taking his place. It has to be somebody equally or better. If they are not, they have to be like a Henry Ford. Similar to a Henry Ford. Because we will be in trouble. We will be in serious trouble. And we pray that this person is somebody with integrity. And will manage the affairs of the country. And be financially responsible. Financially astute. Financially capable and able. And willing with a heart not easily corrupted. Because MC Simon, yeah, lad. A whole lot of money. Did. No. It's the people's business. That's why some people get some bad beating because what they should have done is they, they fail to follow part B of the first commandment, loving thy neighbor, as I say, treating people the way they want to be treated. So they get a solid beating from God that they can't manage, sometimes to the point of death. Read Proverbs 6, another scriptures in Jeremiah, um, Psalm 73, Jeremiah 12 or 13, one of the two. Guys, you know what to do. Read TikTok and YouTube. Subscribe to my channels. Have a blessed morning.